right, y'all, happy Thursday. We're back. I was gonna wait and start this tomorrow, but I figured why not get on here today. I'm trying to do better vlogging. So happy Thursday, guys. We are back with another vlog. Um, it is 12.52 and I have already had a full day. I got up this morning and I went and worked out. You guys, normally I work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I couldn't work out yesterday because I thought I was going to have a dental procedure. And so I was like, all right, when I scheduled my week, I said Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Procedure got canceled or whatever. I was like, forget it. I'm not going to go. So we are back. Went and worked out with Faith. She was like, you killed me. Um, we're gonna work, I'm going to work out with her again tomorrow. So maybe I'll get some clips of that. And then I have just been editing. Editing, editing, editing. I have a ton of collaborations that are due um and then i'm probably about to leave in about 45 minutes to go get my pedicure and then we're gonna do a girls dinner later at the mayor which is a new restaurant that opened up in lakeview so that is my day i figured i would pop in here to let you guys know before i forget i also am going to add a second i've been doing my luxury tan spray tan so i'm going to do another shade of that before i go i probably should do it now hmm. i can't show you guys because i'm in my birthday suit but i'll show you the products Let, let's go let's go check it out okay we are in here y'all let me tell you so while y'all have been gone i have been reorganizing or yeah reorganizing this space so over here you guys know that there was just perfumes and then the sandal started here i realized in the main closet i didn't have enough room for my jewelry like i only had one pull out but i have a lot of jewelry as i should i have a jewelry brand <laughs> so i wanted to make two full drawers in there in order to do that i had to move the sunglasses so the sunglasses are now over here and then i have this little row of sandals and i made another sandals i'll show you guys in there um I, I came here because so I have these two and I might eventually get the same slide out that it was over there for right now this is simple but I needed two more so I ordered two from Amazon tell me why it's here can't show you that size there's no box they just dropped this on my front door just like this I tell you, I tell you. So anyway, we are going to, uh, I know my, net, my son's been in here. All of my containers are pushed to the back. So while I am drying, because you have to let the self-tanner dry for a full two minutes before you put clothes on. So while that is drying, I'm going to undo this, take the sunglasses from here, and put them in the other ones. And I think, I'm just going to leave that downstairs because I'm pretty sure... Faith or Nikki will want it. So the tanner, this is what I have talked about it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. So this is a tanner. I actually got the recommendation from Jackie Ina. She had showed it. And what I love about it is that it doesn't really, for me, it doesn't really make me darker if I do maybe a half a shade or a shade. But for me, it gives me that glow. And I love to see the glow. I used this um, when we went to the Maldives. Now maybe pop up a couple of pictures here. I mean, it was definitely the sun and some oil. But the glow the overall evenness of my skin this so you had it has this i put on i don't put on a ton at one time like uh when i was seeing some videos some people were pumping like five or six, six pumps what i've noticed is that it's better for me if i do like one or two pumps and then cover like each section wait a while and then do it again so i do double so you have this and then you have the mitt thing um so like i said i don't want any um oh also i got my hair done i'll link it i'll link her she's a travel braider she's so good she's so nice okay gotta pull my hair up i'm gonna have to call william up because i they have a longer thing that you can use to do your back um I have my husband downstairs and he did it for me an hour ago so I just get him to come up here and I'm going to put this on I guess I'm gonna put this on uh, do this sunglasses and then I'll come back to show you guys what's going on 
in here because I redid some things. And then we're going to go get a pedicure. Faith is supposed to join us. Well, technically, she's already supposed to be there because she's getting her nails done. I'm on my press-on game. Um, so I'm just going to get a pedicure. And then, like I said, we're going to a girl's happy hour thing later. And I think that's it for today. Yeah. And then for tomorrow... Um, I'm working with Nike for the next three months. <clears throat> anyway, so I want to go ahead and shoot the April reel because April for, for me and William. Busy. Okay. So while we already have the items, I want to go ahead and shoot that content. The March content I'm going to shoot because um, it's just Instagram stories for March, Instagram stories for May. But for April, it's the stories and the reel. So I'm going to shoot March stories while I'm in Tulum. I kind of have a whole creative concept. I um, don't really know what I'm going to do yet in May. That'll come. But then I know what we're going to do in April. So I want to go ahead and shoot that tomorrow. I might be braiding my mom's hair. I paid to have my hair braided only for me to then still get authorized to, pay my, to braid my mom's hair. She said so, so I got to do it. <laughs> and then Saturday, I'm going to lunch with Christina. I don't know if you guys have met Christina. I can't remember. But anyway, she's a vlogger slash friend here. And there's a restaurant that's opening up called Culinary Dropout. And they're inviting a couple of influencers. So I'm supposed to be doing lunch with her. And then it's Book Club Sunday. That's why I, I open you guys up. I try, I'm try. i trying to do a vlog every time there is Book Club. Because there's a lot of questions that surround Book Club. And so I'm trying to give you guys as much information as I can. Or like as much exposure without giving all of the details anyway probably talking too much i'm gonna catch you guys let me let me do my tan and then i'll come back all right i am done with coat number two you guys probably can't tell but it looks really good i also forgot to realize that once i do my tanner it literally says you can't get near water for up to eight hours so what pedicure was i about to go get so i had to reschedule it for tomorrow Anywho, so I got, I did my sunglasses, so I have two down here, and then I have some up here. I have one, two, three, four, five compartments that are empty. You know what that means. You already know. You already know. So I had this. I don't need it anymore. So this is the first drawer that I have, and then this was where I did the second drawer. I ordered these off of Amazon. It was two four counts, and if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'm probably going to order another four. So I have these down here. I'm probably going to order another four to replace these gray ones so that it looks a lot more uniform. And because I have the jewelry here and not the sunglasses, I'm probably going to take this glass shelf down. You see, I can take it down one um, just so that I have more room on up here. So Up. I'm trying to decide if I want to two things I'm trying to decide if I want to do what kind of beat I want to do I don't know if I want to just do an everyday face because it's already 247 I don't know if I want to put on a full face just I mean it's already three o'clock like a full I know I'm gonna put on a full face but like an a whole 10 step beat or if I just want to like throw on my everyday face we're only going i say we're only two hundred dollars we don't we end up going somewhere else besides the place we intended on going i know my friends i know my friends they're gonna want to go somewhere else y'all come on we barely get out I, pr I promise you if i don't record it i'll be back and tell you guys where we went but even still then i don't know if i want to do a full Anyway, so that's going through my head. And then the other thing going through my head is do I want to get my brows laminated before we go to Tulum? If I do, I'm going to have to go tomorrow because I think Deanna doesn't do appointments on Mondays, if I'm not mistaken. So I only have tomorrow because we leave. She doesn't work over the weekends. 
um, and we leave Tuesday morning. Our flight leaves at 9.15 in the morning. So, I probably won't. I have this like DIY lamination kit that I got from Amazon and I still have it. Maybe I'll do that. I just really wanted to get all of my maintenance done this week. But I do have a, I do want to book a massage and a facial for Monday. You know how like you redo your whole makeup thing and now I'm trying to find things? That's where I am. I think I'm just going to do an everyday face. I don't think I'm going to do like a full I am going to put on this red lip that I got from the lip bar, though. I'll pop up a picture. We went to date night yesterday. That was the first time I wore it. Okay. I like it. <sighs> tomorrow, I told you guys I was going, we are shooting tomorrow. But I also got to go shopping tomorrow for Tulum. I, I can't remember if I told you guys that or not. Um, just because I'm not the same size I was yesterday, last year, this time, and I need some things. I ordered some things off of Free People, I ordered some things off of Nasty Gal, but there is like two nights where we're going to dinner that I don't have an outfit for, and then I wanted to get like maybe one other casual like outfit, like if we were just like walking the streets, or maybe like a nice casual dress that doubles as a beach cover-up in case we go to a beach club and they want to walk around after because that's really what Tulum is known for they have a ton of beach clubs so I'll probably I got a lot to do tomorrow work out come back ch shower change go to William mentioned some Liberty Park place where we can shoot for Nike maybe I'll go shopping while I'm already out and if William doesn't want to go we'll just like take two separate cars that's what it's looking like all right guys I'm gonna put on some music or YouTube video and um, do the rest of my face and then I'll show you my outfit before we head out I need a nap I need a nap. I should have taken a nap. It just hit me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Mm. 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 If I didn't want to go to this restaurant and get their lemon pepper, they have like a mild lemon pepper wings. They're so good. And they have this nice like frozen drink. I would stay at home. Cause I'm, I don't even, I'm, actually I do know I'm tired. It's personal. I was up. I don't, I was, I was just up. I can't, daylight savings time, I'm up. Like all this week, William just got back yesterday, the day before yesterday. What's today? The day before yesterday. You guys asked for none of this. I could at least be doing my makeup, Alicia. William got back, um, and so since he's been gone, like today's Thursday, he left last Friday for, for DC for work. Um, ever since last Friday, I have not, I have a hard time getting back into a sleep routine when he's gone. I don't know what it is. I just can't fall asleep. And not only am I up, I'm up doing stuff. I have no business reorganizing the garage. What are you doing at 12 and one o'clock in the morning? The whole closet thing I was telling you guys about, I'm up at two o'clock in the morning doing that and having to like, do it sw silently because I don't want to wake up Alexander. And uh, it was just a lot. So finally, William came back Tuesday, but he got back min at, like at midnight. And you would think I'd be asleep. No. Like he walked in. He was like, I was up doing my nails. He was like, why are you not asleep? I was like, it's your fault. For some reason, I can't sleep. I did order those Lemmy Sleep Kourtney Kardashian's um, uh, sleep gummies. I have heard too many people go talk about it on like TikTok and Instagram and it had been sold out for a while finally came back in and so I ordered two bottles so hopefully they'll be here because I can't do that again because his schedule is only going to ramp up more 
and I need to be able to sleep. I need to be able to go to sleep. I will try to link everything that I used below. This was uh, YSL All Hours Precision Angles Concealer. When I just want to do like my no foundation, this is the concealer that I do. It's so good. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta find something. So then yesterday we went um, on date night, and I probably had one too many for seventy five. <laughs> I, I know I did. I had, I'm normally a two, three drink max uh, for the whole day. Like three, that's it. No, oh, I had quite a few more than three. I had some front 75s. The waiter, we went to this place called um, Little Betty, Little Betty Steak Bar. It's fairly, fairly new in the Mount Brook area. It's actually really good. Hey, Kiara. She was the hostess, uh, so I ran into her and asked her what was her favorite thing on the menu, and it was this like white seat, white sauce parpadel. I didn't get a chance to thank you because by the time we got ready to leave, I think you were already off shift, but g thank you because that pasta hit, and I'm so glad I had some left over today because I had some for lunch. It was good. Anyway. Um, also while we were there, so I had a front 75 and she was like, I was like, oh, I'll take another one. And the waitress was like, can I interest you in a different drink? And I, went, I was like, uh, I kind of like my Prosecco champ. She was like, all right, I'm going to make you something. And if you don't like it, you can, I'll pay for it. Bet. Tell me why I love that drink. She named it. I can't remember something on the menu. It's like gin with like muddled blackberries. And I wanted to say it had some kind of like sparkling, whether that's like shams or Prosecco. That was good. So then I had two of those. And then I have to have my go-to dessert drink, which is an espresso martini. I was leaning out of that restaurant. So then I woke up today, hungover. And of course, your child don't know you're hungover. So I had to wake up and get him dressed. And then just because you're hungover don't mean you're not going to work out. Okay, it's your fault. So then I had to go work out. So I should, you know, she's tired. I'm using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Foundation. I love this stuff. If you guys remember, I told you in my no, on my no buy list for 2024 that I wasn't going to do any foundations because I feel like I have enough that I get in PR and I need to be able to like try some different ones. And if I go always go to my same one, I'm never going to I'm never going to be able to try new ones. I have been getting so many good PR like I use Lancome just sent me theirs. It's really nice. YSL sent me theirs um, along with their concealer. I just, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, thank you, because I was not on their PR list last year. So I don't know. If my manager was doing something or if they reached out and wanted to send me something, I, I don't know. But I really appreciate it because now I have, like, I want to say I have at least a good 20 foundations. I'm look I'm looking at them. There's, like, this whole entire Lazy Susan. And it's just God looking out for me because I'm just, like, I really, I'm really trying to stick to my no buy. I came close. I came close, y'all. I am in, where was I? I was in Anthropology. And they had this white button up, but it was silk, but it was sheer at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, it was so good. I tried it on and it was like, oh, my gosh. It, it felt so nice. Like, it felt so nice. And as I'm trying it on, I'm getting convicted at the same time. And then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to get it. I'm just not going to tell you guys that I, that I got it. And I was like, and you know what, Alicia? Integrity. Integrity. So I put it back. But it's, be it's sad that we're only three months in and I'm already like, I was so close to buying that. I'm not even going to lie. But I'm trying to stick with it. Okay, seriously, I'm going to finish. Because I'm pretty sure I'm talking you guys' head off. I'm going to finish my makeup and then I'll show you guys the outfit and then we'll head out. Okay, so makeup is done. Y'all, the else, ooh, let me bring this down a little bit. Y'all see this red lip? I put, I've already put it on my LTK, so if this is your first time seeing it, it's probably already sold out. You should have followed me on, like, to know it. You also can click one of the ladies, like, um, how do I know if, when you, like, post? So when you follow, you can also put on notifications. So the same way you can get notified when I post a YouTube video. 
Um, you can also get a notification when I post something on my LTK. I normally am posting once a day, something, um, sometimes. Anyway, makeup is done. Let me show you the outfit I was gonna wear. This was the outfit. So because I had a lot of stuff going on this week, date night, lunch, um, book club, I went ahead and pulled my outfits for the week on Monday and have them sitting in my closet. This is what I pulled for today. It's the Free People Barrel Jeans, which I'm being completely honest, I think I'm going to get another pair because they just, uh, you'll see them. I'll show you when I put them on. And then I was going to wear this like off the shoulder gray top that I got from a little boutique in Greece. And then I wrote, saw this hat that I got from H&M back when we were in Savannah. And I haven't been able to wear it because it's a smaller hat. <laughs> it's their version of a large, but it's a smaller hat so I can only wear it when my hair is either straight or maybe something like this. I didn't know if I could wear it. I know if I could wear it straight, but I know even if I have my hair curly in a bun, it was too small. So I just tried it on. I'm gonna wear this hat. <laughs> and it says, let nature be. Because if you let nature be when we were about climate change. Anyway, so I want to wear this hat. It's so cute. How cute does this look? So now I need a different top. And it is hot outside. Okay, it is. The sun is shining. It's so pretty outside. It is. Okay. I was going to say it is 87 degrees, but that's in Tulum. Let me move over. Oh, 81. It is 81 degrees outside. So I definitely want something short. Maybe this wasn't going to work anyway because it was it's um, lined and it's long sleeve. So it's probably going to be too hot anyway. I need a cute top. Let me, can you guys see me? No. Let me put my jeans on. And then we can work on a top. And then I just need to get sandals perfume look at my hat what's the camera i'm talking i'm talking to the vlog no. see my hat nature william you remember when we were in savannah h and got this hat you told me not to get it i didn't, I didn't know what it said so. yeah jeez louise that's a lot of dry cleaning so oh If all else fails, I'm just going to put on a white tee and just let it be. But I really want to wear this top. I meant this hat. Alright, you guys can't see the jeans, but these are the jeans. It's giving very boho, the jeans. The jeans are very much bohemian. I have, so this is a Skims top. I have this top in beige. How much does it show? That uh, I might just put that on and then maybe I'll bring uh, an oversized shirt, like a thrift store oversized shirt that I can put on if it gets cooler or windy or we go somewhere that has a lot of air conditioner. Because other than that, I don't know what else, I don't know what other color. The sign, is that in green? It's in like a really, really deep green. I don't know. Let me find a top. All right, we made it. The stars are coming out tonight and shining free. So just dance with me. We'll be in ecstasy. The night is young and so are we. Let's live it up, baby. It's our destiny. It's our guarantee. Step into the light. And I will be your guy. Cause when you're staring with those eyes, everything feels right. Don't worry about a relationship, just you and me tonight. Come on and take my hand so we can fly. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down Oh, you're 
Your smile to me is heavenly I'm not scared, you see I'm not your enemy Listen up and glide right through the melody It's just you and me Dancing to the beat Step into the light And I will be your guide Cause when you're staring with those eyes Everything feels right Don't worry about a relationship Just you and me tonight Green, how long these apartment been here? Oh my gosh. They were literally, when I moved in, it was there a month old. I'm back with this one. Why is it in slow fucking motion? I hope I've not been recording slow motion all damn night. I'm a fast, I'm a, I speed it up when I do that. They put me, it looks like regular. <laughs> I can't go, I cannot go out with them. I have not eaten all day and she made me drink this damn drink that had like 70 ounces of liquor. It was a froze, so there's that. How many ounces of liquor was in there? Too many. It was a. It was probably a, a, a ounce of vodka. I haven't eaten. It went straight to my head. I'm like leaning. So this is Nashville all over again. It is. But I wasn't drunk in Nashville. I was a sober one. Yeah, because you had to drive. Yes. Look so we have, they're, they're, they're up there. We're going they're, to prime the wine bar. bar. Champagne bar. Oh shit. I don't like champagne. Yes, you do. You just don't know you do. I don't want to taste it. Does it got fruit in it? Yes, they have they have drinks that are champagne based. I don't trust her ass. Yes, so we're Look here. I've got a little. <laughs> and we're actually we at, never made it in oh, the pool yeah, either yeah. because it's two it's two feet. <laughs> so I never showed you guys, but my old oh my office was actually at this apartment. So it's Lakeview Green. So y'all saw me packing orders. This is where I yeah, was. Yeah, we were over there on the other side yeah but we had to be discreet because y'all know that, that part so now that we're not here this is where it is prime champagne bar It's 12 o'clock and things. Um, I went work. First of all, did you all see the debauchery that we did yesterday? I told you guys. Y'all run me my money because I told you that that's not the only place we're going. We ended up going to Prime, which is a champagne bar. I think I told you guys that. And then we ended the night at Avondale Vape and Hookah or Avondale. We went and got some shisha. Anyway. Got up this morning, and if I didn't have to take Alexander to daycare, I would not have went to the gym. But I went, Faith met me, did a whole ab workout. Of course, she complained the whole way through, but at least she did it. Um, and now I'm back. I told you guys I was going to have to go shopping because a lot of my clothes that I wore last summer and spring don't fit. But I'm trying to get an idea of what i have i just don't want to go out and buy stuff because it's cute i want it to actually work and then i'm trying to decide because i know i didn't i definitely need to do some spring and summer shopping i think i was just trying to pair it all and also doing spring and summer shopping while doing tulum so i'm going through and seeing exactly what i have to determine what i need to look for for tulum so i have I went, I have some upstairs, I got some pieces from upstairs, I looked downstairs in the garage, no, I mean everything down there is a size 14, a size 14 or an extra large, so none of that fits, but I have, and if I'm being honest, I just need to throw out everything in the garage, I just, um, I'm not even going to throw it out when Faith and Nikki get here sometime today, I'm just going to let them rummage through it and what they don't take with them, then I'll finally put and Goodwill bins. I thought about saving all of the stuff that I was gonna give away and having like a 
closets, like a closet sale slash meet and greet. You guys can even see me. Yeah. A closet sale slash meet and greet. But I'm being very ambitious. So it's just going to go to Goodwill. So I have some things in here. These are a 10. So that's not going to work. I'm trying to get everything that doesn't fit in one place. That way when they look at it, they can just see. This is my Kai set. I love this set. It's probably going to be a little too warm in Tulum for this. So I'm not going to take it. But it still fits. This is a airy set. I need to try it on because the pants are an extra large, but it's an airy extra large. I know this bathing suit is way too big. Um, I have the pants to that. That's too big now. This has pants to it. That's too big. I said on my to-do list, maybe when we get back, I need to switch out my closet. So right now I have all things fall and winter in there and all the spring and summer stuff is in here. Oh God, I know this is going to be too big. Yep. I'll pop it up here. I wore it in the Maldives and even when I wore it in the Maldives, it was a little bigger, but it wasn't like that big. This is the H&M 12. I know that's too big. Now these are a pair of shorts I got in Greece that I wasn't able to wear because they were too tight. I'm going to try those and see all these in here. These should be okay. 14. Extra large. These should be okay. What is this? Oh, maybe those will fit now because I bought them when they were too tight. Oh, these are my favorite pants. Okay, I'm definitely taking these. I got these when we got when we were in Greece. I'll pop up a picture here. I love these. They're 100% linen and they just feel so good. So I'll probably pair this with like a little simple tank top or even like a the top to a bikini. So that's nice. So see what I'm saying? I don't think I don't know if I'm going to need to go shopping for this trip anyway i think i'm okay i got this it's cute but i'm not gonna wear it what size is this bikini oh that's a large yeah i don't think i'm gonna need to go i think because i have all of my summer clothes that are all over the place that was another thing was on my march to do list was i needed to consolidate where my clothes are right now i have some stuff upstairs in my office closet and then i have some stuff downstairs i need to consolidate all that in one so when i do the switch out i'm going to just put all of my clothes besides my jackets my jackets always hang up i never fold them because it would take up so much storage but all the other fall and winter clothes i'm going to consolidate them and just put them in the garage that way when i get ready to switch stuff out i only have to go down there Oh, I think this is too big. Yep. Extra large. Oh, this is that Micah's. Yeah, I'm not going to go shopping. I need to just pull out what I have. I also have some pieces coming from Walmart that I told you guys I was going to um, take with me. So I don't think I need to go shopping. If I need to do anything, it's it's for sandals but i think for the most part guys let's see and all this stuff is summer stuff that i can still wear but i don't it's not tulum wearable because it's just so hot there right now i didn't think it would be this hot it's in the high 80s mid 70s for the low all right, I think we're good. Just put those back up. Okay, I think, because we're going Tuesday, we're leaving Tuesday, so I need a Tuesday night outfit. And the way that I have it set up for Tulum is a two is, so for a typical day, 
It's a bathing suit with a cover up and then a casual outfit and then a dinner outfit. So basically three outfits for each day. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because we come back on Sunday. So I'll just need a travel outfit on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, I need a night outfit, like a dinner outfit. Okay, let me try this. And I try to categorize it over here on the shower. So I'll do bathing suit with a cover up, casual, and then dressy. And I'll just categorize them now. I won't bother just to decide which day. I just want to just put them up for right now. It's casual. This is a dressy. This is a dressy, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to take it, but I'm just, I like to go ahead and have everything in their categories and then I can narrow it down from there because if I have four of each then I don't need to go anywhere I don't need to go shopping sometimes I'll we go shopping which is like oh I need this I need this I need this and then once you actually go shopping and then come home and put all of the things together you realize that you probably didn't have to go shopping you just needed to physically see what all you had this is not Day. And see right now I already have four dinner looks and my two um, dresses from Walmart aren't even here. Now this is a piece. If it's if I'm missing a piece, I'm gonna put it over here. So that's a, t a bottom. I need to find a matching top. This is a bathing suit, so I need four bathing suits. That's one. I have one coming from Walmart. And then I have these two that I just got from Target. I'm good on bathing suits. Oh, but I have this one. I need to try this one on. I got it. Um, this is an Andrea Ayama set. And I got it when it was on sale, knowing good and well I couldn't fit it. Like I knew I mean I knew I couldn't fit it. I also knew I was going to be losing weight, so I knew I would eventually be able to fit it. So I need to try it on to see if I can fit it. And if so, it'll just be the one backup bathing suit I bring. Okay. I've got these tops, not a lot of bottoms. And then I've got these bottoms and I need tops. I need to try these on. One second, guys. Okay, so definitely going to take these shorts. Once again, I got them because they were on sale. Anthropology actually, and I was like, I can't fit them now, but I will. Um, I think because I right now I'm good on dinner outfits. I know I am. So my holes right now are I only have two casual outfits. I needed four. And then I only have one thing that kind of doubles as a bathing suit cover up and I need four. So right now that those are the holes in my closet or in my packing. I think I can wear these, I think I can wear this as like a bathing suit cover, like this will be the bottom and then I can wear probably this one, this little number from Aerie as the top and that can be bathing suit. So this is going to be a bathing suit, so let me do that and then I'm going to try these on. Okay, I have these on, but I don't want to wear them for Tulum. They're really nice. 
I got them in Greece and when I got them, they were like this on me. They were so tight. Boy, I tell you, you don't realize how much weight you've lost until you try on an item that you knew was too tight and now it fits absolutely perfect. So I'm not gonna bring these. Um, what else? I did, forgot that I got this like green maxi, it's like a midi um, skirt from Zara. So I'm just gonna pair it with a simple white tank and that's gonna be a third look. And then um, I have, I showed you guys these white pants that I got um so I want to do something to go with that um so I need to put it to get cute tank to go with white linen pants um and then that'll be my fourth I've got what do I have coming I have, maybe I can show, I'm definitely going to show you guys, but I have a green dress. It's so pretty. It's like a sherbet lime that I'm going to take with me for dinner. And then I have a crochet um, dress that I think I'm going to be able to pair for like a bathing suit cover up. So I will probably pair it with this black this black and then I have this like green cargo skirt it's so cute um, that I have coming and then I have this leopard bathing suit so my intention is hopefully that fits and I can wear the leopard skirt and then the one the bathing suit will be the cover-up so the only thing and then that one will just be the spare bathing suit so honestly I only have to go out and get something cute to go with the, the linen pants. I completely forgot or forget that Nordstrom Rack is over here. So I'm just gonna go over here, mainly because I forgot. And then two, there is a place called Teaspoon, which is on the corner. And I'm gonna go over there and get some boba. So we're just gonna shop here. Can't you find a meaning I'll show you well you guys saw what I got only the only thing that you guys didn't see were a pair of sandals um, and I'll show them to you when I get home but I don't even know if I want to tell y'all I don't even know if this came out yet but I recently did um, my coach bag collection and I said I'm really trying to find some summer bags because I have I have neutrals I have neutrals down pack blacks creams beiges all the things and since I don't put color into my wardrobe via clothing, I wanted to start putting color into my wardrobe via accessories, so shoes and bags. And I told myself that the next bag that I get was pink. And I just walked in there in Nordstrom Rack and they didn't have one, but now I wanna buy a bag. And everything in me is telling me to go home, but then the other part of me is like, well, just go see what Belk has. They have bags, they have a plethora of bags. Buying a bag today was not on my agenda, but if I'm being honest, like I picked you guys up Thursday, I've had a pretty shitty week. Not, let me not say that. I've had a pretty stressful week. It has not been shitty. It actually has been very uh, favored. It's just been extremely stressful. I'm just gonna go see what they have. We're just gonna go see what they have. All right, I'm back home. I did not end up going to build, not that I resist the temptation, not at all. I'm going over there back tomorrow to do lunch with Christina and the restaurant that's opening up. So I'm gonna do it while I'm out tomorrow. Let me cut this TV down. I wanted to go to Starbucks to get a matcha, but I think I still have, 
So that's gonna make some when we got home. I think I still have some. Last time, oh yeah, still have some. So we're gonna make own matcha. Some Walmart. My Walmart packages came in. Looks like a Target, and then the rest of this looks like PR. So let me make my matcha, and then we will open some packages. Okay, the only thing that you guys didn't see was um, these green, I don't know who MIA is, but I saw them when I was looking at sandals. They didn't really have, for me, the as good of a summer sandal or even like summer shoe collection that I would anticipate it maybe because it's a little early. I don't know, but I picked up these are like a mint, like a mint green kind of color. They feel super comfortable. I'm hoping that they're sandals because I plan on wearing them out, but they're very similar. It's like an Hermes inspired sandal. So that was the only thing that I didn't get. Other than that, I got the leopard shirt from Naked Wardrobe. It feels so good on. I got the cream skirt. Oh, and then the little skinny elastic belt from Vince Camuto. And see, it makes legit the perfect amount that I was, that I'm looking for, like the cup, it's perfect. Maybe one day I'll try to measure it for you guys, but just get an espresso frother. It's legit my favorite frother. Okay, let's open up some packages. We are going to go to dinner, like an early dinner today. Where is my box cutter? Early dinner today. So when we pick up Alexander, we're just going to head out and get some dinner, which works perfect because I don't have his pasta and chicken nuggets and, and vegetables. I don't have any of that cooked today. And I need to cook it because I'm leaving. I'm doing lunch with Christina tomorrow at 12. Faith will be here to watch them, so I need I, I need to make it easy for her. I like to have it labeled with what day. That way she can just pop it in the microwave. All right, the first package, I'm going to shoot. Okay, sorry, your dog was running up the street. So the first package we got is from YSL. And I um, already had another one that I gave away. So I have a little running PR package thing downstairs in the garage that I'm just going to, once it gets pretty full and I can kind of give everyone a little bit of something well not everyone but create a giveaway that has a little bit of everything i'm going to do that so that's going to go down into there um this next one is from finery which i learned from Brittany at pockets and bows and i think is i just put it on today it was their their version of the pistachio it's so good so they sent me something I'm about to cry. Y'all, they sent me. Oh my gosh, I, okay, all right. Sorry, I'm recording the video and I, as I see them, I'm thinking. I don't even know why I'm getting emotional. Yes, I do, it's because I, wow. That's crazy. Anyway, so they sent me seven of their perfumes. So I have the Mysterious Nomad, um, the Without a Trace, and I have this one in a smaller size. Um, the New Rogue. I have to smell all of these. Mystic Figures. Um, Madame. Pistachio Please I already have, and it's fairly new, so I'm going to put it over here in my giveaway stash with the YSL. And then Born to Impress. This one has pink rhubarb, damask rose, and cypress wood. I'm looking for a floral one. Ooh, cream de cassis, velvet, and patchouli. That sounds good. Fig, ocean air, salted sage. Ooh, I wonder if Kiosha would like that one. Oof, golden saffron, amber, resin, and sandalwood. That sounds like a good time. Without a trace has Blossom, cedarwood, and suede musk. Kiosha may like that one too. I need to open all of these up. And then this one has bergamot, black pepper, and henneco wood. Mysterious nomad. 
So yes, thank you, Refinery, for sending me these perfumes. I need to, I like to take pictures with them. I meant take videos and then post them on my um, Instagram stories. I used to not because there was a time, especially back when we were at the old house, um, that I was just getting so much PR. I was literally just getting inundated with, it was just so much that I closed that P.O. box and um, it worked perfectly because I closed the P.O. box and then like three months later we found out we were expecting it so we ended up moving and so when we moved here I got a new P.O. box and I said okay I'm going to be very intentional with who has I'm going to be a very intentional with the PR packages as I choose to sign up for because I just don't want access. I feel I don't want excess. I don't want just stuff to be like wasting away. Either I know that I'm going to use it, William's going to use it, my friends can use it. I just don't want like all this extra stuff. And even now when I'm having stuff and I'm like, okay, I'm getting multiples, I'm just going to start doing giveaways because I don't want to be that person where you walk in and they have this closet full of PR stuff and you're like, you're not gonna be able to use it in your lifetime. It's just me and I don't go through that much. Like you can only wash yourself, wash your skin so many times. You can only put on so much perfume in a day. And so I don't want a lot of excess. So having it downstairs is a clear delineation between, okay, I might eventually get to it in our linen closet, but if it's downstairs, I'm not gonna get to it. I already have a backup or it's not for me or I didn't like something, something about it that's just not, functional for me so it's downstairs like this there i i already have this and i already have this and technically i could put this i was like oh okay so i run out but i have so many perfumes that by the time i get rid of that bottle and then start this one i could just give it away don't be greedy don't be selfish okay i have personally used olaplex before Ooh, packaging is all And, oh great, and it's, only, it's legit the only products that I use for Olaplex. The last time I got a PR package from them, it was something to do with blonde. So it had it was like a purple shampoo and conditioner. I ended up giving it away because I don't have any kind of like dye in my hair. Um, but this is legit the exact same thing that I use. Okay, so I use the number three, which is the hair perfector. So for me, I kind of use this as like a pre-poo, like a pre, what does it say? Um, use before shampooing, not a conditioner, it's a bond builder. Yeah, so I kind of use it as like a pre poo so I'll put that on there. And then I use the number four shampoo, and I use the number five conditioner. And I am completely out. I have not re-bought it because I had other shampoo and conditioner, so I appreciate that they sent it to me. So this is going in, you can keep the pile. Okay, and then Wally World. So this is the package I'm working with Walmart this month. And I thought it would be cute to get some great outfits for Tulum. What's this? Oh, it's weird that sandals came in that kind of box. got these little silver heeled mules I have them in like a bright pink color but you know the silver girls are in and they're just really comfortable so when we go out I can take the tag off because I already know these fit um, when we go out at night for like dinners and stuff most of everything they were going to in Tulum is walkable so I don't have to worry about walking a lot but these are just an overall they're just so comfortable and they're cute the perfect i feel like that's a perfect summer summer vacation heel and then i've never seen sandals come in this kind of box before i got these which are kind of similar kind of kind of similar they kind of look like they're playing off of the Oran. I don't know why the Oran sandal is so popular. Everyone is trying to make an inspired version of that. So I feel like this is an inspired version. I love them because they're nice, a nice gold shoe. So 
a little big. Probably should have got an eight and a half. Or is it too wide? Because my foot is fine. Oh, it's just my left foot because my right foot feels fine. Wow. Please show me feet that different. This cargo skirt. Is it a cargo skirt? Yes, cargo type skirt. I when I, I was kind of like on the fence when I was looking and then I saw in the back they had the elastic. And if you want me, why do I look washed out? If you want me to buy something in a pants, put some elastic on it. I love it. And this says design with the planet in mind. Thank you. So this is a brand free assembly. They have a top to go with it. And if I'm being honest, I'm probably going to go back and buy the top. I don't know why I didn't buy the top this time. So I'm definitely going to try that on because I want to wear that in Tulum. I'm trying to clean as I go, but maybe I'm going to wait because it seems to be taking a while. Okay. Here. And I'll probably pack for Tulum or do most of my packing either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tonight because... I got a feeling I'm going to be braiding my mom's hair tomorrow. And so the only thing that I have that I will have left to pack is my makeup. You guys know I take, I have travel toiletries. I have everything except for a separate set of makeup. Who's doing that? So I have to do that on Sunday. Oh, this looks so cute. So this is the bathing suit that I got is from the Sofia Vergara collection. Yeah, Sofia Vergara. So I figured I could do, this would be like a top and then this could be the bottom. That way if we go walking around, then I can do that. And then if, of course, if we go to the beach, I can just simply take the skirt off. So I got that. I need to try that on to make sure that that looks cute. This looks so much cuter in person than it did on the mannequin, on the model. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'll pop up the model. It, she, I'm not saying she didn't do it justice. It just, it looks like a true beige crochet knit dress. I'm gonna try all this stuff on for you guys. That's a vibe. And then, what's in that box? What else did I, oh, I know what's in that box. And then I got this scoop, um, knit not knit slip dress i wanted to get it in a small because i kind of wanted to feel i kind of wanted it to be a little tighter but they didn't have it all they had was a medium which is an 810 and so i said okay i'll just get the medium and it should work out and then this is the last thing i ended up getting the last one so right now it says sold out but maybe walmart will restock it because it's the it, it's just starting the spring people i think you should restock it most definitely and this is also the reason why i did not get that beach bag at north Chirac. how cute it has this strap if i want to do it like this but what i love and this is what i haven't seen and a minute in beach is that it also has the long strap that you can put over here i haven't seen a double strapped raffia tote in my price range let's just let me make that off disclaimer as well that is so cute ah. okay so i need to do that and then the last thing i know what's in here is I just placed the order yesterday when I was with Kyo. She's such a bad influence, you guys. Okay, maybe not really. But it works perfectly because I'm going to Tulum where it's hot. So it's these fans. Which one did she order? She ordered the blue one. Okay, I ordered the white one. She's the little... And I want to say our other friend had it, and that's why Kyosha was using it. Yeah, because it was pink, and I know that wasn't hers. So it's this little, oh my gosh, it's this little fan. Does it work now? Oh, it already comes on. Three different levels. One, two, three. 
cute and then if you just want it like if you're sitting at a table you don't want to have to hold it it has the holder right here and then it is fully rechargeable oh it has this thing to put where oh okay i'll do it later it has a rechargeable so that also needs to go in my bag for tulum now I have all this, these packages that I have to undo. So I'm going to clean up my mess before William comes back. Comes back and is like, I just took the trash out. I'm going to clean up all of this. And I'll probably see you guys. Um, I don't know where we're going. We're either going to Slice or we're going to Baja Burger for dinner tonight. Either way it goes, I'm going to change out of this because I have on tights. I'll probably throw on some like casual pants. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys for dinner. What they know about this, that, this, that I got the bars looking up a little chit chat Too thick with it, nah, no, never been that Float is dead, you might as well been that Chuck it in the bin, bye bye Bars will hit like a mad drive by Man wanna pat on the back, high five He gets no ratings, they love to lie Call boy, yeah, in the middle of his eye Some man are it, then they ask why Not much there that I can't co-sign Do my own thing in my own time Life is mental, never been gentle You're like a higher one-time rental Long time, yeah, it's a business mentality Jump on the mic, it's a fatality, it's mental Another day, another dollar You and yourself like there's no other Another day, another dollar Just you and yourself, no other Just Another day, another dollar You and yourself like there's no other I haven't talked to y'all all day today. Happy Saturday. I am running late. I am about to go into the restaurant culinary drop out um, with Christina. So I'll update you guys on the rest of my day. But for now, let's go eat because it's 12 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. I'm starving. Drop in a place of banter and violence. If it ain't get no love, no guidance. And I hear and free one my bit. Sees my mom outside ear us vibing. Seen so many things go sideways. Seen so many things go left. Trying to make them all right, all right. Yeah, you know we live for the zest. Another day, another dollar. You and yourself like there's no other. Another day, another dollar. Just you and yourself, no other. Just another day, another dollar. You and yourself like there's no other. Another day, another dollar. Just you and yourself, no other. Just grind. Happy Sunday guys. We are we're we're back. Um I think I left you guys at lunch. Lunch was great. I think I told you guys we went to culinary dropout. They're opening on the 20th, but they've been doing like a soft opening to for to me it just seems like they opened because it was a lot of people. I it, I realize now I thought it was like a soft opening for like media and influencers. No. That place was crowded and I didn't know half these people and so it was a lot. Anyway, it was really good. I enjoyed everything. So after we left there, I met my sisters and Christina. We went to Sephora. 
Ulta, although I don't think I got anything at Ulta. Um, Fabletics, Free People, Anthropology, Target. We went all over the place yesterday. But I will have to say, he had, he was fully napped. He had got his full nap and he did, oh, like he did so good all day, in and out of stores. After we did all that, it was about six o'clock and they were hungry. So then we went to Papa Do's for dinner. It was really good. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick um, haul today. Oh, I didn't even tell you. So after we put him down at like eight o'clock, me and my sisters were up until legit one o'clock in the morning. Over there in the living room, just chit-chatting about everything. You know, I was like, glad I have sisters. It's moments that like that, I'm just like, I wanted to give Alexander a sibling. You know? Anywho, I was about to say something, but I don't. Anyway, so I'm going to give you guys a quick haul um, of what I got. Today, we have book club, and then Faith is having something at a lounge after for her birthday. Her birthday is technically on Wednesday, but of course, we'll be in Tulum, so she wants to kind of celebrate with the people here that aren't coming. And so I need to pack as well sometime today. Uh, free people, I got another pair of barrel jeans. They have me in it. Okay, um, so I got these in a cream, creamy color. Some, a lot of you guys ask what I'm wearing. I wear a size 29 in the barrel jeans. Honestly, maybe ah. I could wear a 28, ah. but I was... Ah. 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 I want it to feel ah. loose, so I, I keep my 29s. Also, if you saw my Savannah vlog, you saw these absolutely loving tanks. I got one in black and white when I was in Savannah, so I wanted to get it in this pretty brown, chocolate brown color. And then I got this vest for no other reason than, don't, don't fake. Don't be a faker. Huh? That's, 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 sure, that could be a car. That's a car. That's a car too. Yeah, yeah car. That's the cars over there. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That is a black car. Whoa. I got this cute gray vest that I kind of want to wear it like this. Like, I picture wearing a button up, and it button up, and then wearing this and just having the top open like that. But then, if you want to be casual, you always can just like wear it solo, like this, or wear like a tank under it. I thought it was really cute. So, I got that from free people and I'm not taking anything that I bought yesterday with me except for maybe some stuff from Sephora but no no clothing all the clothing has been established um Target all like I don't know why we went into Target why didn't we go into Target oh I wanted to get some Issa Wave Prosecco so I got two bottles of which we downed yesterday yesterday night so now I'm out of Prosecco again <laughs> But while we were in, oh my gosh. I hope I still have my receipt. She left my thing on here. I got these pants. They have this, this slit, so they're like a Mason Margiela dupe. There's only one slit on the side, but she forgot my red thing. If not, I know definitely that I use the app, so I'll just, that'll be a tomorrow thing. I have not a lot, but then a lot of prep before we go on vacation. And then I have to shoot tomorrow. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. I said a weekend, but we'll see. Um, and then in anthropology, so I've been on the hunt for like different color pops of accessories. Uh, I think I've told you guys that before I wanna make my accessories pop because I'm just so neutral with my clothing. I, I'm, I am attempting to talk, and I mean, my gosh. The editing I'm going to have to do for you, little bitty boy. Somewhere else. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to talk over him. Anyway, um, 
Christina, the girl I went to, I went with lunch yesterday. I saw on her story she showed this beautiful red bag from Anthropology, and I was like, oh my god, send the link. I'm gonna get it and then pick it up. For some reason, I couldn't pick it up, even though they had plenty in the store. They were going to ship it, and I wanted to have it because I think I do want to take it to Tulum. It's a nice, colorful bag. So I went in the store yesterday and got it, and it is so cute. I love this like it's asymmetrical type thing. Of course, it has a thing, little button right here. It's just such a really cute bag. It's also pretty spacious to me. I'm not really in the small bags anymore. I, I need to be able to put something more than just a card in a phone. So I love it. I can wear it like this or what I really like is I'm putting it on like that. It's so cute. Anyway. Yeah, because you should be opening it. Here, take your little car and skedaddle. Because you're right under mommy. One, two, three, go! Whoa! That is so cool. Oh, you want me to do that? Okay, 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 okay ready? One, two, three, go! Whoa! That is so cool! So I got this red bag from Anthropology, and then we went into Sephora. What? You did a moment? What's the matter? What? Like, mm, tasty. Okay. I'm trying to do the rest of my haul. So I'm going to need you to get down. Go play with your toys. Oh, I know what I can do. Spidey. You want to watch Spidey? Yeah. Okay, well I was in Sephora. I wanted to get the floor, not your baby. That I love that scent. And I said I wasn't going to buy a perfume, but I wasn't able to put... Okay, here you go. I wasn't able to put my perfume sinking fund away because I bought I bought it. I bought it and I don't feel guilty. Anyway, Sephora didn't have it, but um, Anthropology did. So I smelled it and legit three people came by. What did you What did you smell? What did you spray? What did you spray? I'm responsible for three other people buying this perfume. You're welcome, Anthropology. So I got that. And then the only other thing that I got was this little travel size L'Occitane um, shower oil. Love it. And I definitely want to take it with me to Tulum. Um, let's see. Out of... I didn't get these at Ulta. Did I? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I got my lashes from Ulta, so I'm running low. So I got the Kiss Pompadour, Pompadour um, lashes. Love these. Um, I got these Bare Affair Kiss lashes. These are my favorite ones right now. And then I wanted to try these. These are the, it says Naked Drama by Kiss. They're the Taffeta <laughs> lashes. I think I'm gonna try these today for a book club, so I'll let you guys see what they look like. Okay, here you go. Okay, so that got that from Ulta, and then I got the my brow tint pen from NYX. I got that from Ulta. Did I buy it twice? Did I buy two? Did I buy one at Ulta, one at Target? No, one of these ain't mine. I think one of those are fake. Okay, and then at a Sephora, I got another travel size version of this. I love this. It's as close to like me being on my original skincare. You guys know that I use Tatcha at night, like my go-to Tatcha at night, and then Ula Henriksen, the vitamin C collection in the morning. Well, the vitamin C collection from Ula Henriksen, I haven't been able to find all of the travel minis. So this has been, is really close to a vitamin C collection. So I'll use that during the day. I had plenty of points. She was like, can you want to get two? I was like, no, I just need one. 
So I got that and I went in for this. It's the Rare Beauty Concealer. I have 480, which is a tad, like a tad bit darker than I am. I normally have to mix it with a lighter one. So I wanted to get a 460, which I think will be my color. And then I wanted to contour um, and highlight with it. So I also got it in a 420. So we're going to try that today. Um, I got this Tower 28, a tinted lip treatment. I hope that doesn't mean that it is minty. No. It was black on. That's why I didn't think it was minty. Got that. And then I got, Christina is trying to put me on liquid blush. I have that cream one from NYX, but this one is from Rare Beauty. Y'all look, look what color this is. Look at that color. I am nervous about this color. I'm not gonna try it today because I need, I'm okay with the Rare Beauty because I've used that before so I know I've never tried this before. We're not doing that today because I don't wanna mess up my entire face trying to make it work. And then I got this Topicals Brightening and Clearing Clearing Serum. I went in for, what dark spot toner did I go in for? Did I go in for a dark spot toner? No, I think I think my sister went in for this. And the lady sold me because she says not only is it good for dark spots, it's really, really great for hyperpigmentation. And she has seen so many good results, I guess, from the licorice root and the azelic acid. So I got that. And then last place, because then I got to clean all this up and all the things. Uh, we went to Fabletics and I had two credits. So this is what... I got, I didn't think, I thought credits expired. Y'all haven't had these two credits because I haven't had my Fabletics membership in a minute. But I guess these two credits still on there. So I got this set. I was a little hesitant because I didn't have pockets and I need pockets. So this will probably be a an outside, like if I want to, I'm trying to start doing more outdoor hiking and stuff like that. We used to do it all the time. So I can do this hiking because I'm always going to bring a flat bag to go across a bit from the gym. I can't do this because I need to be able to put my phone in my pockets. So I got that set and then I got this set and this set does have pockets on the side and then it came with the sports bra to match. So I got all that. I'm gonna clean this up. And maybe we'll do some makeup together. Maybe we'll, I'll probably see you guys. Bless you. Do y'all see him? You can't see him. I'm gonna put all this up and then I'll probably meet you guys at the vanity when I'm getting ready to do my makeup.
that stuff back in and get everything out and then get out the door. But if you're already in the bag, you're just out the door. Yeah, you know she ain't gonna just throw it back. Yeah, so 